Me, wants to make an SCP account so I can write SCPs and upvote or downvote. Wikidot, oh, I don't think so. <laughs> you know, I, uh, you would think that the SCP Wiki administration would find the, uh, like, tragically broken nature of the joining process to Wikidot to be unacceptable, but I get the inclination that the idea that new people have a difficult time joining the site is actually a feature for them, not a bug. They are an all-volunteer force, after all. We'll leave the virtue of that evaluation entirely up to the audience. <laughs> Moving on. Sci scientists at the UN after Broken Masquerade. The only thing I'm guilty of is being too awesome. And... Several war crimes. I think several is probably underselling it. And the, the dozens, likely dozens of war crimes. The Foundation after trying to kill SCP-682 for the first time. The Foundation after the 20th time and he just won't die. Ah, uh, yeah. Older, wiser, maybe understanding that killing things is not always a great idea. <sighs> One day. One day they'll learn. SCP-173 wants you to start a steering contest with him. Except, except, oh, I, I don't know which of the options I should choose. I, should I accept it, or should I accept it? I think I'm going to accept it. Yeah. Let's start a steering contest. Do you recognize the bodies in the water? Yes, don't you? God dang it, they're all dead. You know, uh, I was... <laughs> I was reading the uh, the title of this. I think it was something along the lines of, I don't know why I included Dr. Sumerian in this. I imagine they might have thought that they could get themselves included in the meme video if they included me. And they were right. Help, I've, acci Help, I've accidentally joined a peanut-worshipping cult. I don't think that's a real... Th uh, uh, some of the fan base might be a... It might be confused with a peanut worshipping cult, but in universe there isn't any such thing. Help, you know, some of these, uh, I have to wonder. Help, I've accidentally died is interesting, but it's funny on its own. Help, I've accidentally restarted the USSR, that's funny on its own. But then there's the help, I've accidentally built a shelf, which to me is even weirder. I mean, because that requires... That requires actual, like, active work. You have to work for that. The others could happen uh, circumstantially without your input. Like, I just happened to restart the uh, USSR. I just died. Or I, you know, joined a worship peanut worshipping cult when all I thought I was doing was being a fan of some internet creepypasta. Anyway. Ah, yes. Carl. <laughs> oh, man. Those years were fucking Carl, man. Ah, motherfucker right there. I just, oh, God. Keter duty expectations. Keter duty in reality. <laughs> very, very realistic when everyone's like, Keters are scary world ending monsters. That definitely the idea of Keter duty as a dangerous, terrible punishment is rooted in the idea that, like, the SCP only contains monsters, that there are no. There's nothing more complex involved. Just monsters. Sometimes it's just cake. Oh boy, I sure do love watching the 2010-2011 season opener between the Miami Heat and the Boston Subway. Haven't I been here before? <laughs> uh, you know, it's interesting. I would say the SCP-093 is probably the one that got me into the wiki the most. But the season opener, SCP, I cannot remember the number off the top of my head. I know it's in series two. I think it's in series two. Yeah, season opener is probably the one that, like, really engaged me and, like, inspired me enough to actually try and write. And it's it's a toss-up between a few of them, but it's definitely up there. SCP-114. Do I not understand humans because of my anomalous effects? No. Humans are just naturally hostile. That seems fair. Yeah, that's usually how the SCPs tend to uh, view things. Like, oh, am, am I weird? No, it's the children who are wrong. <laughs> Me reading When Day Breaks for the first time and waiting to hear something about the origin of all SCPs. Shut up about the sun! Shut up about the sun! Ah, uh, but that's rooted in a bit of a uh, misconception about what SCP-001s are supposed to be. Like, oh, they're supposed to be about the origin of the SCP Foundation, right? No, no, some of them are. 
and a lot of the earlier ones are, and, and the, the ones that are probably best known or involve that, but no, not, not all of them. And I will say this before, I've written on When Day Breaks before, and I'm still currently writing on <laughs> When Day Breaks before, I'm trying to work on an Ikea, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right, working on a story about when day breaks happens in the infinite Ikea and how that would uh, interact with each other, but um I'm not. A, I really don't like when day breaks all that much because <laughs> it's like it's a it's a tale masquerading as an SCP, right? And because of the SCP, it trying to adhere to the SCP format as it does, it I think it loses a lot of the impact it could have. It's it's one of those things. It's like I see the potential of it, and it makes me dislike it. <laughs> so it's, it's like you had all this potential, you didn't use it. Why? <laughs> Because you just had to make it an SCP-001. You could have wrote a tale. But this is the other thing. If it was a tale, instead of being plus 1,000, it would be plus, you know, 10. or pl- Somewhere between plus 10 and plus 100, probably, at best. And at plus 100 is like a hugely successful tale. I mean, it's not... There are better rated articles out there, better rated tales out there, but still. Plus 100 for a tale is, is considered to be wildly successful. It's, it's, there's a, and, you know, for an SCP, that's just breaking even for a lot of people these days. Like, not new authors, but established authors look at plus 100 as, like, a bare minimum. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, like, it, it would be so much better as a tale, but it would also be much less widely read. <laughs> so, I, I don't begrudge the author for doing what they did, but I still downvoted it. <laughs> All right. This is, uh, if, as if Dr. Sumerian's YouTube channel was a uh, online game, banned. The server has automatically banned you for saying a bad word. You said D class are terminated every month. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to think of like if, if if there was a Dr. Sumerian YouTube channel online game, what would it be called? I feel like Sumeria would be in there somewhere. I don't know. We'll co- we'll come up with a name. Come up. You know what? Come up with a name in the comments. Any SCP article, wiki readers, Dr. Sumerian, wrong! Uh, I love these. Uh, <laughs> more! <laughs> There's a theme here. You're wrong, Dr. Sumerian. It's. <laughs> You've heard of one punch man, but introducing wrong punch man. <laughs> uh, I don't know who these characters are, but I like it. Dad, how did you and Mom be? I loved this one when I saw it the first time. It was love at first sight. She didn't like me at first. That woman can scream. Ah! But there was something between us, so I stayed. <laughs> ah, cool. Oh, man. Dr. Bright. <laughs> just, that's just how it is, I suppose. I don't want to think about that one too much, though. <laughs> to be honest with you. I just want to know. Uh, Sumerian Toast Crunch. You're, hmm, you're wrong. I feel like those no's at the top could be, uh, could have been used for something, but they weren't, and that makes me sad. But other than that, I, I like it. It's nice. <laughs> oh, man. Either way, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please scroll down and hit the subscribe button. Then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload a new video. Then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like the people on the screen here already have. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I'll see you all again on Thursday.